What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. On tonight's... Tonight! Where the... Oh, there it is. Wait the... Oh, wow. Yeah, we have a lot of people. Okay, there it is at the bottom. All right, we are coming back to Alip Bata. Yes, indeed. Alip Bata fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot of people here. I'm going to do my best to... Uh, pronounce everyone's name correctly. If I mispronounce your name, I'm sorry. I mean no disrespect. I'm just not familiar with how to pronounce these names in you know, in all their variety. So I'm gonna do my best here. All right. This was a request from. There's a lot of people. Get comfortable. And I'm not gonna do this again at the end. I'm only doing it once. So <laughs> there's so many people. I I can't afford to do it twice. All right. So this was a request from uh, Abba Babe. Uh, Amora Mayan, Denny Noriana, Nuha Nida, Agung uh, Wibawanto, Rudy Antika, Lombang Sutopo, Nur Aini, Dakai Pham, Jody Usman, Ali Halik, uh, Ahmad Aziz, uh, J. Yud Hiasto, uh, Nubina, Nubina, okay, uh, Hedayat Gaming, A. Helmi, wow, there's a lot of people here, <laughs> Eul, uh, Sinchan, Master Rental, uh, Adelia Kudel, Kama BWZ, Umar Mudhar, Kang Bonnie Channels, <laughs> Deddy CBF ACEH Haris Budaman Aji Masaid uh, Indra uh, Kusuma Diki or Dikai, actually, it might be Dikai uh, Atriana uh, Hendrik Bambang uh, Muhammad Rafi Vic Tori and Avis Channel. Wow, there's a lot of people there. They all want to see me react to this song. It is Ali Bata doing his rendition and his interpretation of the Queen classic song, Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, now, have I heard the song before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have, I've heard the song. I'm very familiar with the song. I've played this song several times. So, I know how this song works. Trust me, I know. Uh, now, how have I heard... Ali Bata do it. No, I haven't. But if he does it anywhere as well as he did Another Day by Dream Theater, this is going to be impressive. So, I hate to say it because I, I want to go in with an open mind, but I, ha I hesitate to say this, but I have to say it. I have high expectations here. <laughs> I do. Look, if, if he could pull off Another Day by Dream Theater the way that he did, I can only imagine what he's going to do here. So, I am expecting great things. Hopefully, he'll deliver, and I, I'm sure he will. So, I'm not really uh, all that nervous for him. So, just to keep everything in context, am I going to be reacting to the song? No, because I I know the song. I, I'm very familiar with the song. I am only going to be reacting to what Ali Bata does to the song, how he plays it, how he interprets it, how he arranges it for solo guitar. So... That's what I'm going to be basing my reaction off and my score off of. So, please keep that in mind. Uh, this was posted by Aleep Bata on his channel. Okay. And the video has 11.7 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What are you saying? You ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, finger style cover. 
cool. I mean, there he is. It's pretty hard to miss him. Um, playing that court. Man, I hope he got an endorsement deal from these uh, from court. I really hope he did because he's definitely repping the brand well with his video. Uh, well, the one video I've seen so far, um, he definitely represented them well. So I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully he got an endorsement deal with them. He certainly deserves it. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. God never ceases to amaze me. Um, great use of slides. Uh, very tasteful. And here's, here's, everyone's like, well, he doesn't need slide everywhere. Here, here's the thing. He's not sliding everywhere. There's, he's sliding, yes, but not all the time. Sometimes when he moves up the guitar neck, his fingers are on the string, so he actually just places it back. So it's not really a slide up. He just moves his hand up the neck, but without playing any notes that slide up with it. Um, he knows when to slide, and more importantly, he knows when not to slide. Uh, the slides are all very tastefully done, and they're not being overly used. Uh, his usage of harmonics is fantastic. He's He really understands harmonic structure and where the harmonics resonate within each string um, and how to get the most out of each harmonic with each attack. Very nice job. Very nice job. So far, so far, keeping up with my expectations. I, I was expecting greatness. So he is definitely staying up there. Let, let's keep this going. Let's see where this goes. I thought he did hammer-ons. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he actually picked every single one of those notes. 
I need to double check on that. Give me a second here. Nope, every single note was finger picked. Are you kidding me? Every single note was finger picked. How? I mean, and it looked like he did it all with one finger, his index finger. We're gonna go back and no, no. Hey, listen, I don't care. Hey, it's my show. If I want to go back, we're gonna go back. I I need to make sure that I saw what I think I saw. And if I did see what I think I saw, dear Lord, this man has some talented fingers. No, okay, okay, okay. So he was using middle and index. Okay, mostly index, but middle came into play. Okay. Whew, I was going to say that guy's index finger is not human. It's got to be fake. It's got to be mechanical, like a robotic finger, because there's no way a human finger can move that fast. No, it's not. He's he's using two. Okay, okay. Whew, still impressive. <laughs> still impressive. Very clean. Um, man, it's good stuff. Let, let, let's keep going here. Before it goes into the break, <laughs> the timeout. Wow, uh, that whole operatic section where they normally do the operatic, like almost a cappella version. Uh, well, I wouldn't say a cappella, um, but in the in the song where they go into that operatic breakdown. Um, great usage of octave placement of notes. Uh, he didn't follow it exactly like they did it, like. There were points where they would go up in the octave, and instead of going up, he went down. And look, I like it. I like it. I love it when people who are doing covers take their own personal liberties, and they put it into their version of the song. Uh, whenever artists cover a song, and they play the song exactly, note for note, tone for tone, octave for octave, pitch for pitch, uh, everything is the exact same as the original, it's kind of like... Why bother? Why bother listening? If it's the exact same as the original, what's the big deal? What's the difference? I don't understand that. Though I've always liked it whenever artists, musicians, bands, whatever the case, take a song and put their own little spin on it. And, you know, they put their interpretation of what the song is and they perform it like that. I always enjoy it when artists, bands, and musicians do that. So... I'm glad he puts a couple variations in there. i glad he took those little detours. I'm glad that he didn't play it exactly the way that Queen did. So, good for him. Good for him. Um, I love his strumming technique. Um, there are places where he will strum, and you hear each individual string get its time. Like, you get that one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, you know, and that sounds really good. And there's other times where he plays all the strings together in unison at once using more of that classical 
uh, flamenco style, uh, you know, attacking with multiple fingers at the exact same time as opposed to strumming with the thumb. Um, last thing I want to mention here, I can't help but notice that I've been hearing it through the whole song. I just, I wasn't sure which finger it was doing it. It looks like it's this pinky on his right hand is tapping the, the body of the guitar to provide a percussive sound like a drum uh which is really really cool I, I dig that i love it when classical guitar players are able to do that whether it be using their pinky or the thumb or whatever the case may be but they're able to get that hit on the body of the guitar to make it sound like a drum and keep that pace going and keep that tempo going you know just by doing something as simple as that it, it's not all that hard and now in the context of playing a guitar the way he is it is a little trickier because he's got to know where he'll be able to hit it, but he's got to hit it in tempo, you know, on a beat. So it's, it's not easy to do. It, it's not when your fingers are all going as fast as they're going with his right hand, you're not always going to get that opportunity to hit on the downbeat. Maybe you might have to hit on two or on four or on three, you know, so, but he's making it work for sure. So that's fantastic. All right everybody's favorite parts is coming up now let's get to it straight out of wayne's world everybody headbang one two three four expecting greatness and uh he did not disappoint he did not disappoint at all uh, i'll see you in the review we'll talk about it well there you go folks that was alip bata performing his rendition of the queen song the classic tune bohemian rhapsody uh this was requested by a bunch of people that i said at the beginning and i'm not gonna say it again i'm sorry there's just way too many people to do that all right, uh, let's talk about it. I'm going to give you my review in five minutes or less. So there you go. Let me give the score first. On a scale of one to ten, I am going to give that. Oh, ah, wait a minute. Hold on. Mm, not quite. Let's let's bump it up just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I like that. Better. Okay. Y yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to stick with that. All right. Sorry. I had to change your heart there. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 9.2. Yep. 9.2. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? There we go. Okay. Uh, let's get to it. 
I was expecting greatness. I, I was. I was expecting something amazing. I was expecting something fantastic. And he did not disappoint. He absolutely did not. He delivered just like I had a feeling he was going to deliver. Um, what a fantastic rendition. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it, it's funny that if you're not watching him do it, if you're just listening to the, to the music, it's real easy to lose sight and lose track of the fact that he is doing this all by himself. Uh, he is covering every single voice, whether it be through the use of hammer-ons, harmonics, pull-offs, open string chords, whatever the case may be, everything you hear is him by himself. And that is that is not easy to do, folks, especially not a song like this that has so many layers and so many different directions. Um, his usages of sliding, knowing when to slide, but more importantly, knowing when not to slide, knowing when you want that glissando up or glissando down or when you want a pure staccato attack or a legato attack but an attack nonetheless as opposed to a legato uh, as opposed to a not a legato a uh, I just said it <laughs> oh a glissando uh, up or down um he he really understands where to use them and where not to use them and that can make or break a song. If you slide all over the place and all you're doing is sliding, it's going to sound a little sloppy if I'm being honest. It's not going to sound all that great. Now, he knows when to slide, when not to slide, and that is fantastic. Um, his use of harmonics never ceases to amaze me. Uh, he knows how to get exactly the harmonic he wants to get out of every single string in every single harmonic position. Uh, knowing exactly where on the fretboard to hover his finger so he could get the right harmonic out. It's fantastic. Very well done. That comes from years of practice. And I'm talking years, folks. I don't mean like a year or two. I'm talking years of practice <laughs> to be able to be able to know exactly where on the string to place the finger to get the exact note that you want. Um, that's fantastic. Nice job on his part. Great interpretation of the song. Like I said earlier, I love it when musicians, when they're doing a cover, they put their own spin on it. They put their own feel, their own flavor on it. And they don't they don't play the song note for note, tone for tone, chord for chord, progression for progression, octave for octave, exactly how the original was done. Because at that point, you're not really doing a cover, you're just doing a copy. And we don't want to hear a copy. We want to hear what you can do. We want to hear what your interpretation of the song would be. And he did a fine job of that. Uh, playing around the octaves in particular. Um, now I know a lot of the octave usage that he did was not so much for interpretation, but it was more for ease of being able to do it. You know, like uh, within the context of what, of how his hand can move and just how far his fingers can stretch. So he had to do some modifications to get the result that he wanted to get, the notes and the chord that he wanted to get. He had to shift around the octave range a little bit. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, it still came out sounding really good. And I would rather have him play around the octave range for use of, for, for the purpose of comfort and being able to do it accurately, rather than have him slide up an octave or two to be able to hit the notes that he's supposed to hit and have it be garbage and have it be slop. You know what I mean? So I would rather him take the safe route and get the octaves, uh, you know, changed up. So go down an octave instead of going up an octave. That's nothing wrong with that. Uh, again, personal interpretation and comfort and ease. So both are perfectly valid reasons. Um, his right hand is amazing to watch, man. He's got some fantastic fingering ability. Uh, rapidly in succession. I had to go back that one section. I wasn't sure. I just saw his, his index finger was an absolute blur. And I was thinking to myself, there is no way he played all of those notes that quickly with just the one finger. And that's why I had to go back. I had to go back twice just to make sure that I saw what I saw. And luckily, the second time I, I went back, so my third time seeing it, I saw his middle finger going with him. So it was both made a lot more sense because I'm sitting there going, there's no way he can do that with one finger. Now, overall, this was very impressive. 
Did it blow my mind? Yeah, it did. And here's the thing. I went in with expectation. I went in thinking to myself, this is going to be great. I expect greatness from him. And he delivered. He actually over-delivered. And uh, he did more than I thought he was going to be able to do. So once again, did he blow my mind? Yes, he did. He absolutely did. And that is why he is getting the 9.2. So 9.2, final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base to become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content is dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.